iconic actress Sri Devi was posthumously honored at the 71st Cannes Film Festival. Filmmaker Subhash Ghai, who received the award on her behalf, says he felt honored. Ghai shared a few photographs of himself while receiving the award on Twitter and captioned it, It was an honor to receive the award on behalf of legend Sri Devi Kapoor at Cannes Film Festival yesterday for her outstanding contribution in Indian cinema and shared my experience with impeccable imitable actor to western audience hosted by Titan Reginald F Lewis Film Honors. Sri Devi's producer husband Bonnie Kapoor said he and his daughters Janvi and Khushi were overwhelmed with the recognition, tributes and love that the actress has been showered with. Sri Devi was feted with a posthumous National Film Award for Best Actress in appreciation of her performance in her last released film Mom. What do you think will happen when two superheroes collide? Well, here when the Desi met the Videshi, nothing but a little fun happened. At the special screening of the fictional film Deadpool 2, Harshvardhan Kapoor, who plays a superhero in his next title Bhavesh Joshi Superhero, was present at the premiere in his superhero avatar. Check him out here having mad fun with the Deadpool mascot at the screening. Also joining them was actor Varun Dhawan who contributed to their mischief. Kunal Kemu was another actor who played around with the international superhero, showing us glimpses of his inner action hero. Earlier we saw Ranveer Singh turn naughty with the Deadpool mascot when he was seen spanking one of the mascots. Meanwhile, Harshvardhan Kapoor's Bhavesh Joshi superhero will now see a clash with sister Sonam Kapoor's Veera the Wedding on 1st June. Shenja of Bollywood Amitabh Bachchan blew away everyone when he unveiled OnePlus flagship OnePlus 6 in Mumbai, a first in the OnePlus lineup featuring an all glass design. The one or two not out actor became the brand ambassador of the Chinese smartphone company OnePlus earlier this week. At the OnePlus 6 launch event, Mr. Bachchan, who looked dapper in a checkered suit, talked about the high-end smartphone and said, "When I was first uh, introduced to the brand by Kyle here and Carl at my office, one of the first things that I noticed was the fact that what was it that they wanted to introduce into the market and i clearly remember carl saying we wanted to produce something very unique something very different something young and something that perhaps stood out in the market i always believe that in today's times the mobile phone has become an alter ego for each one of us each one of us has a phone and every time i see someone holding a phone it somehow gives me the impression of what this guy is all about what he's going to say what he thinks of himself when i hold a oneplus 6 in my hand i feel superior and that is what i feel is my authority the mega launch was hosted by vj and host gorav kapoor the event was also attended by bollywood actress aditi rao hedri who took some selfies on stage with amitabh bachchan during the launch The International Indian Film and Academy IFA returns back to Bangkok after a decade for its 19th edition. Now, a press conference was held for the same where celebrities Karan Johar, Shahid Kapoor, Dia Mirza, Ranbir Kapoor and Karthik Aryan were seen in attendance. During the interaction, watch how Ranbir Kapoor's butt suddenly sparks a conversation. The butt? Yeah, it was a tab on the table. Will there be a butt in IFA as well? I'm not saying anything else. Where is the if if we saw the butt in Savaria? Where would you suggest the if lies? Will there be a butt coming to us? No, no, I'm not interested in the butt. Yeah, you might be interested in the butt. What about the if? The if? Did you hear what Dia had to say? It's not like it leaves his body and walks away. It's always around. Well, whether or not we'll be able to see Ranbir's butt, the gala, however, will take place between June 22nd to 24th. With an ensemble cast in race three of almost six actors, Saqib Salim being one of them, says that he was excited as he was working with Prem, Mr. India, and Soldier at the same time. Speaking about his experience, he said, "But I think in this film, the most good thing is that I have gotten to work with uh, such senior actors, who I have seen since I was a kid, and who I have been a fan of. So, for me, this is a very good thing that I have worked with." लेफ्ट पे वर्ल्ड का प्रेम राइट पे मिस्टर इंडिया मतलब सोल्जर एवरीबडी आई हैव ग्रोन अप वाचिंग देम सो आई थिंक इट्स अ ह्यूज थिंग फॉर मी एंड आई हैव एंजॉयड एवरी बिट ऑफ इट ओवरवेल्म बाय द ट्रेलर रिएक्शंस रेस थ्री रिसीव्ड ही सेड 
नहीं यार सबको बहुत अच्छी लग रही है ऑल द ट्वीट्स ऑल द मैसेजेस एवरीथिंग दैट आई बीन गेटिंग फ्रॉम पीपल इज बीन ओवरवेलमिंग इतना प्यार मुझे आज तक नहीं मिला तो बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है यार मतलब वी हैव गॉट सम 35 40 मिलियन व्यूज ऑफ द ट्रेलर ऑलरेडी व्हिच इज ग्रेट एंड द होल आइडिया इज टू जस्ट मेक द फिल्म रीच आउट टू एज मेनी पीपल इज पॉसिबल एंड ईद आ रही है ईद पे पिक्चर आ रही है सो आई एम होपिंग कि जब ये पिक्चर आए तो लोगों की अच्छी ईद मिले Meanwhile, Gear Up for Race 3 releasing on Eid 15th June 2018.